Hi, my name is Ravi Kumarty, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVAT Bangalore. So today I'm here to explain the how to solve the problems on projection of lines. Okay, so very important key points you must remember in projection of lines. What are the key points? So first one is if the line is inclined to VP, the inclination line goes below XY line, the first key point. If the line is inclined to HP, inclination line goes above XY line, that is the second point. And these two is very, very important. Okay, so one is what in front of VP and above HP. If the point is in front of VP, the point A is below XY line. If the point is above HP, the point A is above XY line. So these two are very, very important. And you're going to solve some problems in the first quadrant. Okay, so first quadrant is what? Uh, in front of VP and above HP. Okay, so first quadrant problem we're going to solve. We'll see what is the first problem. Okay, so first problem is the line AB AD mm long as it send A is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. If though it is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP, draw projection of the line and find the apparent length and apparent inclinations. Yeah. See, here the true length is what? 80 mm is a true length. Okay, so this 80 mm true length point A and right, if it is a two point edge, okay, so if you consider it as a line, okay, it has a two point one at this end and this end. So one end means this point A end will be HEBO 20 mm. Okay, HEBO HP 20 mm means the point HEBO is XY line. Then 30 mm in front of AP means below 30 mm, below XY line 30 mm. Okay, and so find the inclination with, you know, in inclination is given. So 30, 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Okay, so VP means it is above XY line. HP means it is above XY line. VP means it is a below XY line. So first we'll see, uh, yeah, we are given 30 degree to, uh, 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Okay, so we'll take one point. Okay, so we'll take one point. Yeah, so this point I'll take and then 30 degree to HP. So I'll just, I'll just said that. So 30 degree inclination means it is above XY line. Okay. So I'll take this point. Okay. So I'll draw straight line. I'll draw straight line. Okay. So later we'll see length and yeah, uh, it is since it is a uh, front view. So we'll consider a dash. Okay. And then the length of the, this true length line is 80 okay so up to which see up to 0.8 so this is a b dash so you can erase this extra line okay so yeah so one more thing i forgot see i have taken already 20 mm hepo hp and 30 mm in front of vp i have taken already okay so next the 45 degree to vp okay so from the same line see 45 degree to vp Okay, 30 and 45. Okay, so now from here, I have to draw 80 length. Okay, yeah. So this point is what? A and this is what? B. Okay, A and this is B. Clear? So next, I have to draw locus line. I have to draw locus line. Okay, again from here also I have to draw locus line. Okay, so after that, what you want to do? So after that, you need to draw line. Okay, so you need to draw straight line. See, uh, yeah, from here. Okay, you need to draw straight line. Okay, now so this I'll consider it as a B1 dash. Okay, next use this length. Okay, use this length. Next, cut an arc on locus line of B dash. Okay, so cut an arc. So means you'll get this is a b2 dash so here you will get the arrow mark like this okay and the, from join b2 to b b2 dash to a dash so this is a visible line okay this is actually a 
apparent length in a front view this is actually apparent length in the front view and this inclination okay so this inclination will be alpha apparent inclination in front view okay now so next is what next you have to draw straight line from the point b dash okay yeah so this uh, i'll take b1 okay now again i'll measure this from a to b1 i'll measure it and then i'll draw cut an arc and draw an arc which intersector which intersector locus line so this is what b2 okay so now join now join a to b2 okay this is actually a visible okay you have to use visible line so this is actually apparent length apparent length okay so now you have to join b2 to b okay see b2 to b so these two should be on a straight line okay these two should be on same line okay so if it is on same line so our problem is true okay so this is beta okay so now i have to note it down i have to note it down apparent length apparent length will be what means a dash to b2 dash okay how much you'll get just measure it okay you'll get around uh, 5.6 uh, means 56 mm okay so here 5 point you know this is 56 mm and a to b2 is a to b2 is 69 mm okay see after that you have to find out angle okay so it is around uh, alpha is around 48 degree alpha is around 48 degree okay and then beta i'll get beta beta is around 46 degree so all dimensions or n m okay so very simple to simple to solve the problem but you have to show the r mark so very simple r mark okay see these are the r marks okay you have to show okay so this complete the first problem in lines okay thank you so we shall see next problem in the lines in next class okay thank you